All right, folks. I want to talk about Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Game comes out this Friday, right? I'm excited for it. Probably going to end up buying it digitally. I'm also giving away two copies of it for those that are interested. Head down to the description or the pinned comment for more information on that. I'm literally giving away those copies this week. Uh, and then starting a new giveaway for the rest of the month. But we'll get into that later. The thing is, I've been I, there hasn't really been a lot to talk about with this one. Uh, there's not really a lot of information Nintendo's given us. The, the, we basically got the gist of what Bowser's Fury Mode is. We've seen what some of the changes are. We've had the preview and some of the reviews come out. But in the end, this is a game that we played, you know, seven years ago. This is a game that I 100%ed. So the main game, you know, is basically going to be probably what I remember with a little bit tighter controls. Uh, and Bowser's Fury looks fantastic. But here's the thing. And this has been happening with Nintendo games pretty much since the Switch launched. All Nintendo games get leaked. All right. Hack switches exist. Leaks are happening. For some reason, a retailer breaks street date every single time. Every single time without fail, some retailer breaks street date. And we don't want Nintendo to stop sending copies of the game early to retailers because they need time to get them on the shelves. We don't want them to like arrive the day it releases and then even though it's that pre-order, we can't go to the store when it opens to pick up a copy. So we want them to get the, the copies early. It's just... For some reason, retailers, multiple of them keep breaking street date. Or maybe it's just rogue employees stealing copies out of the box. I have no idea how this keeps happening. But Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is out in the open, right? It's leaked. Files have been dumped. Uh, there's literally, right now, if you go on Twitch, I guarantee you'll find at least three live streams, probably by some pretty small streamers, uh, playing the game. So Bowser's Fury mode has been completely spoiled. You can literally go billion places on the internet and get spoiled for the whole Bowser's Fury mode because Nintendo's kept some of that mode kind of behind, behind closed doors. But here's the thing. I'm kind of tired of some of these leaks, right? Because Breath of the Wild 2 is going to get leaked. We know it. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to report on it. Uh, we, Monster Hunter Rise is going to get leaked. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to report on it. I'm going to report on it every time. I just... Why? Now, there's some interesting things we learn from this leak. Well, we'll get into it in a moment because there's some legit news in here that we should discuss, in particular, the online, because it is using the old Next system, not the new NLPN system that we talked about the other day. So I was hoping that all future games would use the new system. These are still using the old, old server infrastructure. We'll get into that in a bit, but I'm just tired of games leaking, all right? If information wants to leak out about the games, that's fine. You know, I just, every time I see this game streamed, I know that person's playing an illegal copy of the game. And it frustrates me. Maybe maybe I'm alone in this frustration. I have no idea, but it just is. So Oatmeal Dome here, uh, he's, a, he's a Switch hacker, all this jazz. Uh, he put out there, you know, that the game has been leaked onto the internet, and this was a couple days ago. Uh, and it uses Next and not MPLN, so it's it, it's using the old um, the old system uh, for handling their online infrastructure. Uh, the final build apparently was done on November twenty fifth, twenty twenty, not too long ago if you think about it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, games no surprise, games are always done a couple months before they come out, like the final build. So unless you have a day one update, uh, Bowser's Fury is codenamed Ocean in the actual code. Uh, the port was made in collaboration with Nintendo Software Technology, um, which is uh, Nintendo's U.S. studio. Uh, for those who didn't know, they even had a U.S. studio. That is one of their studios. And then 1UP Studio. Uh, they forgot to clear out the debug data folder, which is exactly what happened when they ported over Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which partially based on this game a little bit. And obviously New Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. But... Uh, I want to get into the network stuff quick. So Oatmeal Dome knows way more about this than, than I do because he has access to things that I don't because I'm refusing to hack my Switch and, you know, even though there are some cool things you can do with it, I would love to overclock my Switch. But uh, actually, I don't even think my Switch is presently hackable because I don't have one of the original models. Anyways, so he says his opinion on Super Mario, uh, you know, 3D World plus Bowser's Fury using the next. It's not a big deal. More below. So let's get into this. 
The Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury using Next isn't a big deal. MPLN was never going to be a magic bullet that fixes everything. Of course it's not. Besides, the majority of the connection and quality concerns have to do with the actual netcode implementation, which is something we've we talked at length before with Super Smash Bros. and other games. Like The netcode is the fundamental issue, not necessarily the server infrastructure, uh, which is primarily done with the PIA ends peer-to-peer netcode library used in all first-party Nintendo games minus T99 and Super Mario Bros. 35. Nintendo is still using PIA with MPLN, so they didn't, didn't change the netcode. Uh, connection quality will also depend a lot on how the, t- the dev team utilizes PIA and their code optimization. So I'd wait for people to actually try it first, which ironically they are, uh, before judging or making a purchase decision. Reviews and impressions from game journalists should be coming soon. Patience is key. We're already going to get some reviews. There's the Famitsu review out there. The rest of the reviews should be dropping here in the next like three days or so. Usually Nintendo lets you drop a review either like one or two days before release. So you don't have to wait long to, to hear about the connection stuff. But I, again, MPLN's great. It's just not, you know, I talked about it when we saw this implemented with the Monster Hunter Rise demo that it's not, you know, going to be a, a one size fits all fix. So, it, it is what it is. It's better. It sucks that it's still using the old Next system. It can be updated later to use the new one if, if, if Nintendo so wishes, but I'm just frustrated that another Nintendo game's leaked. Seriously. <laughs> Shouldn't be surprised at this point, but that's all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's what I got for you guys. Just want to let you know that it leaked, so be careful out there. Um, if you've already been spoiled, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, folks, uh, if you're here at this video trying to find links to direct uh, streams of this or find links to the, the files and where you can download it, I'm not going to help you out. All right? You can Google, bang it, whatever search engine you'd like to use. To be honest, I'll give you one tip. It's usually easier to find these files using search engines that are not Google. Google likes to filter things. Um, Google likes to be pretty controlling with search results i'll just i'll just put it in general anyways all right guys i'll catch you in the next video